in any case this project happens to already be in a repository that I've created and I've done several revisions to it um, but the process I want to go through right now is to go into the PCB editor and I'm opening up my PCB document right now for this simple little design and for that voltage regulator that you see right there on the schematic that voltage regulator currently has no 3D model and I want to add one to the library then update the PCB and then check in the newer library and the new PCB as revision changes to version control. You can see right now in this PCB it's come up in the 3D viewer mode. You can see I've added quite a lot of nice uh, 3D models for all of the headers and the IC sockets um, and, and various other bits and pieces on the board. In fact there's the there's the I squared C connector. We're using a, a six pin mini DIN for that, the DC jack. Pretty much all of these 3D models I've used on this project have actually come from a free download place called 3D Content Central. Uh, it's just a, w a website URL, http colon slash slash www.3dcontentcentral.com and there's a whole lot of uh, libraries of 3D models there. I've downloaded all of these in step and attached them directly to their components in Altium Designer's PCB library. And um, the nice thing about that, they, don't, they didn't cost me anything. They're user submitted uh, to, by um, basically SOLIDWORKS users all share their libraries of these things. These IC sockets came from the SAMTEC website and these are these are highly accurate models for IC sockets. You can even see the um, they don't have color information but as far as spatial reality goes they're pretty real. And so those are all very useful in Altium Designer for doing 3D clearance checking in the PCB layout. Now there's one that I have here this um, IC regula uh, regulator IC8 which is a 5 volt linear regulator. I want to find, download and attach a 3D model for that which is basically in a DPAC sort of style and case casement. The part number in the schematic, um, let's have a look at that real quick so we can do our research and find the right thing. If I look at this IC8 on the schematic and go to the component properties, you can actually see there I've got some component links that I've added to the manufacturer website national.com but I've also put a, a link for a data sheet and notice as well I've made that data sheet because it's in the project and it's in the repository I can access it via HTTP so I can put an HTTP link in there to the local SVN repository over Apache the project folder which the repository is in and then directly from there I can link to the PDF document for the data sheet so I can actually right click right here go to references datasheet and it opens the datasheet PDF right here in Altium Designer and I can I can see there that I've got my my uh, LM2940C um, voltage regulator there so I'm going to go to physical dimensions you can see there's a few different options here there's the SOT223 package version what else have we got there there's a there's um some DIP packages. There's a TO220 traditional through hole. Um, let me zoom in there. I'll close those bookmarks so we get a bigger bigger view of this. There's the the DPAC package, which is a TO263, and there's also a um, a TS3B. So the one I'm using is a TS3B, which is also that's the National Semiconductor Package num name. This is actually a TO. 263. So what I want to do is go on to 3D Content Central and find a 3D model in step format for a TO263 package. I'm just going to pause the recording while I go and do that. So, Okay, so here I am at the 3D Content Central website. I've logged in. Um, it doesn't cost anything to join this. It, it is fully free, but you do need to create a login. So I've already gone through that process. Now, um, there's a number of different categories of models here, but what I want to do is search for parts. And these will be most likely from the user library, although companies can submit 3D models to this site as well. I'm going to search up here for, um, for a TO. Two, 
and there's um, a couple of things there. Let's see, most of these are wheels. And of course, there that didn't turn up anything, so I'm actually just going to browse the electrical components area. Now there should be a user library down here. It's usually the best place to get electronic parts, because generally the electronics companies don't provide 3D models of their electronic components, so it's typically up to users of 3D packages to create these. Now in here there's electrical, and if I drill down a little further, you can see there's a wonderful category for for connect there's various categories for connectors and other parts and LEDs of course very handy let's go to packages and within packages we should be able to find there's a lot of packages in here so I'll be browsing for a little while but we should be able to find what we need you can see there's SOT 23s there TQFPs all sorts of cool stuff so there's um SMD6. So here we are. There's an SOT223 package. It looks like it's probably going to do what we want. Let's have a quick look at that. So here we are. Now, there's this really cool thing called Hyperview here. It gives you a big view of the 3D model for the, for the part. And this looks like a really nicely created gullwing uh, voltage regulator model. So I'm just going to hit escape and now I want to configure and 